Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss hirsutism. If we look at the literal meaning of hirsutism, hirsutism means hair, means very small hair. So it is a condition according to definition in which excessive growth of dark and coarse hair in male like pattern are grown on face, chest and back of female. So this is a common problem uh, which is uh, present in young girls and females especially of Asian origin. Though this problem can be found all over the world due to some uh, dietary conditions or environmental issues or some other medical condition this problem is getting worse and worse every day. So what are the main symptoms of hirsutism? In hirsutism there is a deepening voice in females, balding, loss of hair on the head, acne and pimples on the face, decreased breast size, increased muscle mass and some other minor symptoms depending upon the person or patient. How can we diagnose if this is a hirsutism? So there are some tests uh, which uh, can be used to diagnose hirsutism. There are some blood tests including serum testosterone. In this test, uh, a doctor uh, tests the testosterone level inside the serum or inside the blood of female body. Testosterone is usually a male hormone but it is present in, in females in a small quantity. But we have to check if the level of testosterone has been increased in female and that is causing hirsutism. So that is why we do blood test. We can also perform follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone tests which can uh, be done by our lab and uh, which gives us the accurate uh, secretion of these hormones any imbalance in these hormones can also lead to hirsutism. Prolactin is also produced in female. It is also tested uh, and uh, fasting insulin. If the patient is obese and having uh, going to develop type 2 diabetes, then we have to do fasting insulin to check the insulin level inside the blood. If these tests uh, does not show any uh, give don't uh, does not give any result then we have to perform ultrasound ultrasound is uh, a specialized test which is uh, used to diagnose any type of cyst present inside the ovaries there are certain types of cyst which can present in the ovary which can uh, imbalance the production of hormones by the ovaries and that can lead to uh, hirsutism sometimes we have to perform MRI which is magnetic radiation imaging to uh, accurately describe the types of cyst present inside the ovaries of the female. So what are the main causes of hirsutism? So there is no exact cause known but there are certain causes which can lead to hirsutism. So what are those main causes? Number one polycystic ovarian syndrome in this condition a female body develops cyst inside the ovaries it could be either right ovary or left ovary there could be a single large cyst inside the ovary or there could be multiple smaller cysts inside the ovaries so anyhow these cysts can uh, imbalance the hormones produced by the ovary which can lead to hirsutism. So to treat hirsutism first of all we have to treat PCOS and there are certain medications and also uh, surgical procedure can also be done to remove the cyst from the ovaries. Cushing syndrome is a condition in which body has too much cortisol hormone which are steroids corticosteroids. This can lead to a condition known as Cushing syndrome and also excessive use of corticosteroids or steroids by medication can also lead to Cushing disease. This condition also leads towards hirsutism. Genital adrenal hyperplasia. It is a, con a, a condition in which androgen 
uh, adrenal gland produces too much androgen which are male hormones inside the body of female which can produce hair on the face chest and back and also on the thighs and causing hirsutism tumors in adrenal gland and ovary can also disturb the level of hormones especially androgens produced by adrenal gland and follicle hormone uh, stimulating hormone from and luteinizing hormone which are produced inside the ovary the imbalance of these hormone can leads towards hirsutism certain medication like minoxidil and danazol too much use of these medication can also leads to hirsutism obesity is also one of the major factor uh, which can also leads to a type 2 diabetes insulin insensitivity and then causing hirsutism amenorrhea oligomenorrhea and dysmenorrhea as uh, infertility are also some symptoms which are related to hirsutism so doctors decide uh, depending upon the tests taken from the blood or by mri or ultrasound that which condition is causing hirsutism in the female so what if we have hirsutism then how can we treat there are multiple ways to treat hirsutism so first treatment is to stop drugs causing hirsutism stop taking those drugs which are leading towards hirsutism somehow if you have a medical condition then you have to take those medication then there is nothing to do then only we can do some methods to remove those hairs which are produced on your body any hope by reducing reducing those medication can also reduce the chances of hirsutism anti androgenic medications which can neutralize the effect of androgen hormones produced inside the female body which are the male hormone too much these male hormones can leads to hirsutism so certain medications like spironolactone can be used to neutralize the effect of androgen which can ultimately reduce the hirsutism there are some other medications like flutamide metformin and phenesteroid which can also be uh, orally taken by the patient to reduce the effects uh, of uh, certain condition including hirsutism metformin is usually uh, used uh, uh, by some doctors uh, with some patients which have ability to obesity and they have insulin insensitivity to control the symptoms of diabetes type 2 and also to leading which is causing hirsutism but it start some in some patient it is effective but in most of the cases this medications are ineffective when these medications are not effective then we have to use topical cream topical creams are specialized creams which contain medicines in the form of eflornithin and this medication as uh, stops the growth of new hairs it cannot remove the hair present on the body but it stops the growth of new hairs from coming out so this can be used on the face and uh, other parts of the body which are have excessive hair there is a laser therapy which with dark hair if the patient has dark hair black or brown then laser therapy can be done in many sessions which can uh, and destroy the follicles of the hair and can decrease the production of hair and thus decreasing the chances of hirsutism but this is also not a permanent treatment we have to do it again and again those people who have uh, white hair or colorless hair or blonde hair in those patient laser therapy cannot work then we have to do electrolysis which is more painful than laser therapy in this in this method same type of uh, treatment uh, a little bit different method of treatment is used in this case also follicle cells are destroyed by specialized method to reduce the growth of the hair on the face and other parts of the body so uh, as a as a result of all this information there is no permanent cure for these hair which are growing on your face on your chest on your back on your thighs only you can do that you can remove them there are different methods there are different medication you can shave it you can use epilator you can do waxing plucking etc so maybe some patient they have uh, 
you know good luck and they can benefit from these method but most commonly laser therapy is used that's all for today see you in the next lecture until then bye